HP believes that materials are a key component for the growth of the 3D printing industry. So what we're trying to do is introduce materials that open new applications to the market. We're introducing our system with our PA12 high reusability and our PA11. Later after that, we're going to be adding new materials into our roadmap that will enable new applications. The HP 3D high reusability PA12. This material has a tensile strength of 50 megapascals and you can build very functional samples like this one that are very rigid. Also, samples that have some elasticity like this one. So you, have, you can build flexible parts. For example, for applications like snap fits or retainers. Or even do these kind of samples that are messy that may be useful for the fashion industry. So fundamentally, we believe that for 3D printing to grow, HP needs to have a collaborative approach to materials development. This is something that uh, for us is uh, very important. How could we drive economics? How could we actually talk and engage the main uh, material partners of the world to innovate in our platforms? And we are very proud to announce that we're working with Arkema, Ivonic, VSF and Limnam and Boss. In the future, we're working with our open platform partners to develop additional materials such as composites with polyamide to add stiffness and strength to the material. Flexible materials such as thermoplastic elastomers. We have a variety of different designs and shapes. You can see these are all very flexible and they can be designed for different durometers to meet the needs of different applications, ranging from footwear, athletic industry, all the way to industrial designs of shifter boots and grease seals and gaskets and that kind of thing. We'll soon go into high rigidity materials like glass beads, flame retardant materials, elastomers, and other set of thermoplastics, and eventually go to higher temperature materials and commodity plastics that will enable the true transformation of 3D printing as a manufacturing tool.